10 News at 10. Hello and thanks for joining us. Happy Halloween. I'm Chelsea Jones and Michelle will be back Monday. And I'm Jared Floyd. As your local election headquarters, we bring you full coverage on all things politics. And President Donald Trump will be heading to Monroe for the first time next week. That's right. And NBC 10's Maya Hudgens is back from talking with locals. Maya, how are they feeling about this visit? Chelsea, the Republican rally will be held November 6 right here in Monroe. Locals are speaking out on how they feel about Monroe being a stop for the president, all leaning in different directions. I know Trump, and I do like his business sense, so if he endorses it, I endorse it. The last time a sitting president has been to Monroe was over 36 years ago. But in less than a week, President Donald Trump will be right here in the Twin Cities to rally for Republican candidate for governor, Eddie Rispone. And there's a wide range of reaction from the community. I haven't heard any good things about Rispone, so if Trump's endorsing him. I really wanted to go to the other rally that they had down south, and I'm really glad that they were doing one in Monroe, so it was easier for me to go to. Some find it surprising the Monroe Civic Center was chosen for the Republican rally. Well, I think that's pretty exciting. Yeah. You don't think Monroe would be a stop, but apparently it is. With the news breaking earlier today, some locals bought their tickets the moment they heard, not just to support President Trump and Rispone, but also for a lifetime experience. I'm excited about just being part of the experience. I've never been to a presidential rally and being able to meet a president or anything like that. So it's, I'm very political. Though a recent poll showing Rispone leading the district 51 to 41 percent over Edwards, many believe that having Trump endorse Rispone could make a win harder for Edwards. Probably so. I think Governor Edwards being a Democrat is probably not in his favor where we are. But there again, that's why you have an election. For others, it solidifies their vote for Governor Edwards. I think it would anger some people. Yeah. People that don't back Trump would obviously not want to vote for Rispone then. You can go to our Facebook to tell us how you feel about it. In addition, MyArchalMist.com has a link where you can buy tickets at. In the studio, your local election headquarters, I'm Maya Hudgens. Maya, thanks so much. After we learned of the president's visit uh, to Monroe, we reached out to the campaign of John Bell Edwards for their thoughts on the president's visit. Spokesman Eric Hole said, quote, it's no surprise that when it's time for politicking, the president is doing what's expected of him and supporting a member of his political party. But when it comes time for governing, Governor Edwards will continue the good relationship he and President Trump have had, end quote. Governor Edwards has been to the White House nine times to visit with the president on important issues like Louisiana's infrastructure, criminal justice reform, and the opioid epidemic. So Maya just told you how long it's been. That's 36 years since a sitting president has visited Monroe. In January of 1983, President Ronald Reagan flew into Monroe to tour flooding. During his two-hour tour, he filled sandbags with volunteers off of Highway 165, and he took a drive through flooded areas with then-Louisiana Governor David Train. President George H.W. Bush has been to Monroe, but that was after his presidency when he was campaigning for his son, George W. Bush. Of course, that coverage will continue as we go toward Wednesday. In other news now, a Stop the Violence seminar for uh, high school students was held today at the Monroe Civic Center. It's a collaborate, collaboration between Monroe Police Department's OK program and the Save Youth program. Students from both, from both Wasman and Carroll High Schools filled the conference hall and spoke up about reasons why they think kids their age carry guns. The common answer was the fear of needing protection. Officials say most of the shootings that have happened in the past year in Monroe involve people under the age of 30, meaning this is an issue amongst a younger generation. Let's bring the hope back in because we as leaders are still vulnerable and still deal with the same thoughts, but at the same time we are leveling up, we're rising above, and you can do the same thing. If you missed out on today's seminar, there will be another one held in November for the students of Neville High School. The Ashley County Sheriff's Office initiated a search warrant that led to an arrest in over $40,000 worth of meth. Deputies arrested illegal alien Jose Chavez. Chavez was arrested for trafficking of a controlled substance. He is being held on a warrant from the Department of Homeland Security for illegal reentry along with a bond of $200,000. The Sheriff's Office says they've arrested 10 people and have seized approximately 2.5 more ounces of meth this week, but they say those recoveries are related to Chavez's arrest.
Well, three El Dorado men are facing charges for breaking and entering into unlocked vehicles. The Camden Police Department arrested 22-year-old Jacario Terry, Judas Bruins, and 18-year-old Elijah Roberson. The three men are suspected to have broken into vehicles in Camden, Smackover, and El Dorado. They are being held at the Washita County Jail. Each is facing charges of breaking and entering, theft of a firearm, and theft of property. Thomas Jolly, you're tonight's winner of Jim Taylor's dealership's $200 gas card, and that's if you call before our newscast in at 318-807-0900. Now, if you want to win some gasoline, register at one of the Jim Taylor dealerships or head to our website and click on the contest tab. And don't forget to watch every weeknight at 10 at 10 on 10. Now, your local weather with Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd. Look at the live storm tracker Doppler radar brought to you by E. Warren of Young Skies remain clear and a cold night underway. So a lot of very, very chilly trick-or-treaters earlier this evening. Lots of them had layers on underneath or over their costumes. Whatever you had to do to stay warm, hopefully you still got that candy. Uh, across the region, not much in terms of cloud cover. We did have some high clouds along the Mississippi Valley earlier today. Those have all skirted off to the east. And across the rest of the region, again, high pressure has settled in. The last of the cloud cover was really out by late afternoon. And really most of the uh, more persistent cloud cover was out by sunrise or shortly thereafter after this morning. Uh, in fact, most of the rain wrapped up by about 4 or 5 o'clock. Uh, I was up about 5, uh, 56 o'clock this morning, and most of the rain was already at or east of the Mississippi River at that point. Uh, but most locations will continue to see remaining clear skies as we head through the late night hours and really through the rest of the weekend. So if you have outdoor plans, uh, there a go. But again, you may want to kind of uh, keep an eye on temperatures, especially if you have earlier in the morning plans. High pressure center will move eastward and move basically right over the top of us as we head through the next uh, uh, 12 to 18 hours. It's a cold night underway, though. 36 in Little Rock, 38 Shreveport, 40 already in Monroe, 41 in Jackson, 47 in Lake Charles. Compare that to where we were 24 hours ago, and again, it's a pretty big difference. Monroe's 25 degrees cooler, Shreveport 7 degrees cooler, Tuscaloosa 35 degrees cooler. So again, uh, most of these locations seeing a drastic change. Already well into the 30s across South Arkansas, everyone above freezing for the time being, but I wouldn't be surprised to see some 29s and 30s uh, across South Arkansas as we head through the overnight time frame. Not a hard freeze, but make sure that you're preparing accordingly. Tender vegetation needs to be brought inside, covered, uh, and make sure that your heater is in proper working order. If you're using space heaters, keep them away from drapes, keep them away from carpet, and uh, anything else that could catch fire. Your normal cold weather tips, although this isn't one of the coldest nights we'll see this season, it is the coldest night we've seen so far. And again, uh, a lot of folks are getting ready in, uh, for the winter season and have used heaters and uh, a lot of the like uh, over the last uh, couple of months. So make sure all that's in working order and uh, that you're staying warm safely. Afternoon highs tomorrow in the mid to upper 50s. More sunshine with a light easterly breeze. Look at the rest of the forecast as we head through the next seven days. And again, the upper level pattern remains very quiet. Highs will stay in the upper 50s. A weak cold front passes through early Saturday morning. Is it a big difference in temperatures? Actually, no. In fact, it makes little to no difference in overall temperatures, but it does keep us cool for a couple more days. Mid to upper 60s for highs by the first of next week with morning lows in the mid to upper 40s. Rain chances back in by next Thursday. Very fall-like but dry. If you have outdoor plans this weekend, they're good to go. Just like I said, you may want to layer up, especially in the morning hours because it will be pretty chilly. Start. And it looks good that rain is a little further off yep, than and anything. Yeah, dry days uh, getting us a chance to drain all this water off. We've seen a lot of rain over the last couple we of weeks. We sure have. Mm -hmm. All right, well, still to come on NBC 10 News at 10, Louisiana 8th graders are excelling in math. We'll share the promising numbers and explain what it means for the state. And St. Francis is taking patient care to heart, literally. We'll tell you about the new non-invasive procedure to help prevent strokes in at-risk patients. We're back in about two minutes. At Cracker Barrel, we're cooking up warm feelings of home this season with country fried turkey, hand-breaded, fried till crispy, and topped with holiday herbed gravy. Our take on a festive favorite is back, and it's only at Cracker Barrel. So come on home for the holidays. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Yummy lip balm. Yummy lip balm? My lips get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's Lip Repair. It's all-day moisture in one use and is guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked lips. Thanks to O'Keeffe's, I got my lips back. Eddie Rasponi says, I know what it takes to create jobs. I know how to fill those jobs with Louisiana citizens. 
Oh, really? It's Risponi who got caught trying to hire foreign workers when Louisiana's unemployment was one of the highest in America. And Risponi's company benefited from over 500 million in corporate tax breaks intended to create Louisiana jobs, but only resulted in 19 new hires. Phony Eddie Risponi. He's not for you. Paid for and authorized by Gumbo Pack. Hey, folks. Will Shove here at Sparks Nissan to kill another lineup of hot deals. All these for $199 down and $199 a month. Like this 2014 Ford Escape. We also have a 2015 Nissan Altima with leather and a roof. And how about a 2014 Chevy Silverado Extended Cab? And help us help the kids at St. Francis Medical Center. Purchase your two cars, two winners, raffle ticket at stfran.com or right here at Sparks Nissan and Kia. It is a great honor and a lot of pride that I get the opportunity to, to introduce our speaker, Governor Bobby Jindal. We have a major budget crisis in Louisiana. Two billion dollar shortfall. It's done a phenomenal job. Drastic cuts are feared. Students are worried about their TOPS funding. I am so proud of what you've done. Higher ed and health care are facing deep cuts, that massive budget deficit. Please help me in welcoming Governor Bobby Jindal. Thank you all very much. News sponsored by Interstate Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat. News at 10 continues. Eighth grade math students in Louisiana have been improving over the last decade during the National Assessment of Educational Progress test. They've improved so much that they've claimed, climbed to number one in the country. Louisiana ranks at the top this year in math proficiency. The state also ranks among the top 10 for improvement over the last decade in all four NAEP assessments. Local teachers say this is a huge accomplishment for the entire school district. Unlike um, a, a state assessment or a local assessment, this is a national assessment. And so this compares our students to the nation. And so to be first in growth in the nation, again, validates what we're doing right here on the local level. Teachers also say historically there's always been a math deficiency, but this year they had a chance to celebrate. That's exactly what they said. And St. Francis Medical Center welcomes a new device for people who struggle with heart problems. It requires no open heart surgery and it's completely safe. The Watchman device is used for patients who have atrial fibrillation or have a recently had a stroke. AFib is a condition where an irregular heartbeat can lead to blood clots or even worse, a stroke. To treat AFib, doctors usually prescribe blood thinners. However, the Watchman is a new way doctors can treat the condition. It stops the blood from entering the heart and reduces the risk of a patient suffering from a stroke. We put a small catheter in, in the groin, patient's groin, and when the catheter goes all the way to the heart, goes to the left side, deploys the, dev the device, which looks like a small umbrella and opens in the, the appendage. St. Francis says 99% of people who have had the Watchmen implanted are now able to stop using blood thinners within a year or less. I love that technology. It's the best thing. I say it all the time. Cool stuff. All right, we're going to visit South Arkansas next for a group of kids getting a history lesson in the oil business. Exactly. We'll share what they've learned about how oil wells gave their small town a big name when 10 at 10 on 10 continues. Friday on NBC 10 News today, looking for something fun to do this weekend. We have the CBB coming in to tell us what's happening in town. And will this chilly weather stick around? We'll have the latest on this forecast happening Friday starting at 5 on NBC 10. For something old or something new, Cottonport Antique Mall. Your State Farm agent in West Monroe is Kim Duke. Kim Duke State Farm. Boy volunteered his time and talent to design and oversee the ballpark expansion so more of our kids could play team sports. Mr. Foy was a longtime board member at the Boys and Girls Club and is always quick to volunteer in any capacity. Foy led the design phase and supervised construction of the all-inclusive, nationally recognized Smiles Park here at Caroli. Hi, I'm Foy Gadbury, a common sense conservative businessman, and I would appreciate your vote. It's a stampede of savings at Cavender's, and Justin Work Boots are on sale. Save 15 bucks on the best selection of hard-working styles by the name you trust to keep you safe and comfortable. Only at Cavender's, your Justin headquarters. There's a lot I want to tell you about my husband, Eddie Rispone. He's hard-working and never still, unless he's in a church pew or a deer stand. Eddie is soft-spoken but strong. 
When he gives his word, he keeps it. And Eddie is big hearted. Just watch him with our 24 grandkids and watch him melt. I don't know much about politics, but I know this. As governor, Eddie will make you proud every day. The Dish Voice Remote just got even more powerful. Uh, Why'd we put so much technology in there? You don't think I've watched a lot of football? You want to put a little wager on it? Bet. So you can settle that bet without ever taking your eyes off the game. How many D1 football teams are there? Oh! What you do with that power? Oh, it's got to hurt. Well, that Woo, is right. totally up to you. Don't look so sad, man. Come on, we're having fun. New Dish Voice Remote with the Google Assistant. Dish, tuned in to you. Town and Country Apartment Homes. Convenient, comfortable living. Chocolate, chocolate pie. I want chocolate pie. Communa Health Services. New name, same quality care. NBC 10 News at 10 continues. A new oil well is making its way to downtown Northlit, Arkansas. Well, that sounds nice. NBC 10's Gabrielle Pfeiffer spoke to the mayor about how the oil industry has been a special part of the town's his history. From the old... See, right across the street is an oil well that was drilled in 1925. To the new. Approximately 100 years later, we're drilling an oil well in the same location at the same depth. And all the magic is happening in the heart of downtown Norfolk, in the eyes of Norfolk's young and brightest. The middle school students had the chance to view the oil wells and learn the history of how their small town made a name for itself. A lot of the students had never got the experience seeing an oil well drilled. We have them downtown. They notice them, but they don't realize the impact. The reason Norfolk is here because of the oil industry. Many of the students, like Abby Brewer, said they were quite impressed. Norfolk was really founded on oil, and it's just really cool to come out here and see where, like, the town kind of started, just to experience it. It was something really awesome. The Long Brothers Oil Company will produce the oil to refineries right in Union County. One of the owners said the sand in the area is what makes the oil so unique. And the Natchitoches sand. It's been here since uh, for 95 years. It's such a strong sand that there's really not a sand like it in really in the country. The company says they hope the new oil well can also last four centuries. In Norfolk, Gabrielle Pfeiffer, NBC 10, your local news leader. Now the old oil well is still pumping after almost 100 years. Both wells will make approximately five to eight barrels of oil a day. It's a lot. Well, Arkansas Attorney General Leslie Rutledge stopped in El Dorado today for her annual roundtable discussion. This is the fifth year for the Attorney General to travel to all 75 counties in the state. Her goal, to meet with community leaders to discuss issues specific to each county. Today, leaders discussed the prescription drug and opioid epidemic, medical marijuana implementation, robocalls, and vaping. Now, Attorney General Rutledge said it's time to take some action, and she's open to any suggestions from the public. Public. Always good news there. All right, uh, we talked about it earlier, much needed rainfall through the month of October. Mm -hmm. Now we need a chance to dry out. And we're here for it, but it's going to cool down, right? Yeah, very chilly tonight. The good news is we are also getting rid of most of our drought conditions. Let's take a look at the drought monitor and a look at the rest of the forecast as NBC 10 News at 10 continues. And Thursday Night Football is on the way, so make sure you keep it right here because Chris Demersion will have that for you later in our show. On average, 35 children die each year from being left in unattended vehicles. Stop. Look before you lock and help save precious lives like this one. Brought to you locally by Gordon McKernan, injury attorneys. Get it done. You want a quality pre-owned vehicle? Then shop CarTown, where each car has been run through a 50-point inspection process and comes with a two-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Quality vehicles at affordable prices is what CarTown has been doing for more than 50 years. Shop us at usedcargiants.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Finley. We know that there are a lot of people who just do not want to go to the dentist. Well, if that's you, we have a place where you can come and get what you do want. All the dentistry that you need without the fear and anxiety. Our doctors and staff will take away any embarrassment you might have about your mouth. IV Sedation can help you get the dentistry that you want in just a few visits. In a safe, comfortable place, you can take a nap and wake up to a new smile. 
I think most who know me will tell you that I don't run negative campaigns. I run campaigns based on facts. Here's what you need to know. Jay Morris has authored or supported 17 bills that increase taxes for businesses and consumers. My record on keeping taxes lower for businesses is out there for anyone to see. But you can't rely on a foreclosure law. You're running for a Senate seat to be the source for the truth. I think you'll agree. We don't need any more pro-tax lawyers in the Senate. Hi, folks. Car Town's been on Louisville Avenue for over 50 years, taking care of all your vehicle needs. And with over 200 in stock, it's a great time to shop usedcargiants.com or come see us at the foot of Louisville Bridge, Monroe, West Monroe. There's only one place on Friday night to get your high school football highlights in action, and that's Football Friday Night. Friday at 10.15 on NBC10. Sponsored by Banner Ford, Randall's Fine Meats, and American Direct Auto in Winsboro. Local weather with Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd. Our observed rainfall over the last 30 days. If you remember us showing this graphic back in late September, you had a lot of yellows and oranges all across, not just our area, but all across the southeast. Boy, that's changed a lot in the last 30 days. We picked up 290% of our normal rain totals in South Arkansas uh, in some locations over the last month. We picked up almost 200% of our normal rainfall in the Monroe and Ouachita Parish areas. And we're back to even in uh, central Mississippi. Now, uh, these numbers we were talking about just a fraction, 3 and 4 and 20 and 30% of our normal rain totals. Now we have a surplus over the last 30 days. That being said, Drought Monitor still has a moderate drought area over the river parishes, and that's mainly because not of what we've seen over the last 30 days, but what we saw prior to that, and that was very dry conditions that had really persisted over these general areas. So despite the rain, uh, the Drought Monitor, which is a national product, still uh, kind of considers it moderate drought conditions in the river parishes, although those conditions are drastically improving. Freezing temperatures tonight, so make sure you're bundled up. Winds generally calm. High temperatures tomorrow in the mid to upper 50s with a light easterly wind under plenty of sunshine. A look at the rest of the forecast as we head through the next seven days. We're calling for highs, uh, highs back in the upper 50s to near 60 on Saturday, low 60s Sunday, and then back near 70 by the middle part of next week with uh, no rain chances really over the next five or six days. It was a cold Halloween and a cold day for football. Yes, it was. And speaking of football, mm -hmm. OCS and St. Fred's met for the first time since the Warriors' big win last year. Plus, what's the local connection to the Nationals? I don't think it's me, so Chris no. Mercer will tell you what it is when we come back. <laughs> News, sponsored by Banner Ford of Monroe. At Match Fresh Market, we're big enough to serve you, but small enough to know you. What we don't sell you makes the difference. Our professional meat cutters prepare and cut the meat right here so we can give you the best possible fresh cut meat every day. I'd like to personally thank you for shopping with us at Match Fresh Market. Time goes on, but some things never change at your local Max near you. Match Fresh Market, we're all about fresh. Now or never for 2019 model year-end pricing at North Louisiana's favorite Honda store, Ryan Honda in Monroe. Hurry to Ryan Honda on Oliver Road or online at RyanHondaMonroe.com for immediate model year-end savings on every 2019 Honda. Drive new CRVs or HRVs for $159 a month. $159 a month. New Odyssey's $340 a month. Come see why so many people are buying at Ryan. Ryan Honda. Your Honda, your way. This is money at other banks. They act like it's theirs. This is money at Homeland Bank. We know it's yours. We take great care of your money. With competitive interest rates on CDs, money market, and savings accounts, we help it grow. We put it to work here in our community to help you start a new business or buy a new house. Real customer service and attention to detail like banking used to be. We're Homeland Bank, your local bank. Where's your money? There's a reason people come here. It begins with a handshake and becomes so much more. We're more than a dealership. We focus on giving you a great experience, not just behind the wheel, but in all that we do, from service to sales to relationships. At Jim Taylor, we don't just say we care. We show it to you, your family, and our community. So come experience what we're all about. Find new roads at Jim Taylor Chevrolet. 
It's cash back Tober at Cons Home Plus. Get your tax back. Up to $500 on your furniture purchase. Plus an additional $200 cash back when you add a TV. Get cash back offers all month long at Cons Home Plus. Last night, Jimmy had Amelia Clark with Box of Lies. You're telling the truth. No! Tonight, there's this week's SNL host, Kristen Stewart, and Gaten Matarazzo, New Fallon. Then Seth has Timothy Chalamet, all new tonight. Your local sports with Chris Demersion. We had a chance for a little Halloween football on Thursday night. OCS host St. Fred's first meeting since the Warriors stunned the Eagles by a last-second field goal in 2018. Senior night for OCS. There is the coach's son, Will Fitzhugh, among nearly a dozen set to leave. They're hosting St. Fred's this evening. It's early. Eagles deep in their own territory. Quarterback Hunter Herring connects with Fitzhugh. 60 yards to the house. Home team. Up seven early in the ballgame. Warriors on offense now, minus side of their field. Alex Reitzel throws deep to Pat Johnson. Nice connection. Nice grab by Johnson, but the drive ended with a missed field goal. OCS threatening to score in the red zone. Harry hands it off to, uh, or handed off. St. Fred's forces the turnover. They couldn't cash in on that drive. Eagle possession. Herring goes inside to Fitzhugh. Fitzhugh, nice grab, tumbles down at the 20. Moments later, Herring, as you see Stephen Fitzhugh, very proud man. Herring connects to Fitzhugh once again, this time for the touchdown. OCS leads 14 0. St. Fred's back in offense. Alex Reitzel takes a snap, throws, picked off by Landon Graves. Big time interception. That would lead to this. Eagles once again in the red zone. Herring fakes a handoff, plows for the defense, in for the score. OCS leads 21 0. They'd score once again just before the half via Herring Eli Eckstein touchdown. OCS defeats St. Fred's 41 0. Big night for Stephen Bitsu, carried off the field after winning his 200th career game. This evening in Shreveport, late schedule change. Lincoln Prep at Magnolia School of Excellence. First half, this is Panther running back Xavier Dunn. Takes it to the Magnolia Charter territory before he's brought down by a few mirrors. Moments later, it is Lincoln Prep. Quarterback Javian Tatum takes this baby in for it is seven to nothing. Lincoln Prep breaks her five-game losing skid. They defeat the Mariners 43-6. A uh, district rival for OCS and St. Fred's is in action tomorrow. Oak Grove will travel to Sicily Island. We previewed them last night, of course. Tigers have won three of the last four, including last week over Delhi. In these three victories, they've held opponents to two scores or less on defense. They trail OCS in the district 2 1A standings. Ask Coach Gregory how he feels about his team. Yeah, I mean, we still. You know, we still got things we've got to get better at. Um, we, we've started correcting some of those things that have bitten us in, in the closer games that we've played this year against some of the teams that, that we thought we had chances to win, just being able to make those big plays in the key moments. Washita hopes to get back on track. They'll be in a tough environment on Friday. They'll travel to 7-1 Alexandria, who recently stunned Rustin late in the fourth quarter last week. Since scoring 41 and a win over West Washita on October 11th, their offense was shut out last week, and they scored 13 in the loss to the Bearcats, by the way. Jeff Fitzgerald looks for his playmakers to step up this week. Defensively, they're simple in what they do with their, their 50 defense, and uh, their guys play hard. and. And offensively, man, they're very explosive. Um, you know, we've got a quarterback that throws it around very well and a couple of receivers that will go get it. And the uh, offensive line does a good job of protecting him, and then that opens up uh, their run game. Well, I'll be covered tomorrow, Football Friday night, 10-15 on Channel 10, Football Friday night extra on Channel 14. Fans in Washington, D.C. are still celebrating, Chelsea included, following last night's World Series victory. You didn't even watch baseball. That includes one man in northeast Louisiana, Brian Lowe, founder and president of Team Up Consulting, which also runs the Eddie Robinson Classic, had an early role in the Nats from 2006 to 13. He was one of the team's front office executives, showed off a little bit of the bling earlier. After leaving D.C., he worked for the Memphis Grizzlies. Well, you know, the early years were very developing. Uh, D.C. hadn't had uh, Major League Baseball in about 30 years, so it was a tremendous goal. Uh, I was so fortunate by the Lerner family to uh, be selected as their uh, leadership executive to oversee sales and marketing and bringing forth uh, one of the best uh, Major League Baseball ballparks, uh, the Nationals Park, back in 2008.
A very happy Chelsea Jones, also a Redskins fan, so uh, whatever. Her and Jared up next on Channel 10. Creed and Creed is all you need. Call 387-5800. We are Four Works Flooring America here in West Monroe on Cypress Street. We would love to help you know what's going to work best with your budget as well as your lifestyle. Please come and see us for any of your flooring, countertop, and decorating needs. For more expert advice, log on to MyArkLamis.com. A Bears Town and Country in the Shreveport Vosier Sports Commission present the State Fair of Louisiana LRCA Finals Rodeo this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in the Hirsch Coliseum. Buy tickets in advance and save $5 online or at Cavender's Ranchland, Tops, Paul's Farm and Garden, and Greenwood Feed and Hardware. Over $150,000 in cash and prizes will be awarded. Follow us on Facebook for updates. The LRCA Finals Rodeo this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Powered by Cinch Jeans and Shirts. My husband, Matt, is great. But when it comes to finances, well, he's not the best. For example, he financed his truck at a pretty high interest rate. But thank goodness for Washita Valley. For a limited time, they are refinancing auto loans from other lenders. And if they can't lower your interest rate, they'll give you a $25 Visa gift card just for trying. They're going to save us a lot of money and make loving him a little easier. Washita Valley, making good things happen. Experience the thrill of college football at the Murphy USA Classic in El Dorado. It's a day of fun as the Washita Tigers take on the Mule Riders of SAU. Come early for some great tailgating and entertainment. College football returns to El Dorado, Arkansas. Saturday, November 2nd, kickoff at 2 p.m. Tickets available at select Murphy USA stations. The Murphy USA Classic, November 2nd in El Dorado. Don't look good. Yeah, it looks like it's both. Just what I don't need. This is what you do need. Complete the application within minutes. And if approved, you may get the money you need as soon as tomorrow. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. It's the last outdoor concert of the year at Landry Vineyards with Firesteed. Saturday, November 2nd from 3 to 6.30. Bring a lawn chair, bring a blanket, bring the kids. It's just $10 for adults and kids 12 and under get in free. November 2nd at Landry Vineyards. Thanks to Governor Edwards expanding Medicaid, I didn't have to choose between getting cancer treatment or going bankrupt. Now I'm working full time again and can afford private insurance. But his opponent's plan would take health care coverage away from hundreds of thousands of working people who need help just like I did. You may not have to vote like your life depends on it, but know that someone's does. Stock up on the best selection of Western and workwear during Cavender's Stampede of Savings. Save on Wrangler shirts and jeans. Buy one, get one 50% off. Mix and match men's, ladies, and kids styles. Only at Cavender's, your Wrangler headquarters. Sports, sponsored by Ken's Coffee Service. Quick look at the seven-day forecast. Shows mid to upper 50s for highs as we uh, head toward the weekend. Dry, cool, and uh, morning lows tomorrow near the freezing mark. So make sure that you're bundled up accordingly. Dress in layers because it will get uh, somewhat warmer as we head through the afternoon. We cold front early Saturday. Keeps temperatures in the 50s, but then the warming trend is on as we head through the first half of next week. Highs near 70 by Wednesday and some rain chances by this time next week. Well, has a quick, cute story before we go. A Halloween photo from two kids in Smackover, Arkansas, are dressed as a celebrity couple, and it's gone viral. Dante Green stands as the late Grammy-nominated rapper Nipsey Hussle. Leighton Moore is pictured as Hussle's wife and actress girlfriend. I just said wife and girlfriend. That's more in London. But it was posted on Facebook earlier this week, and it was shared more than 10,000 times. Wow. It's hard to tell who's who because they look exactly. so much like them. Yeah. That was a good one, guys. But be sure to wake up with Anna, Bodie, and Lexi tomorrow. They'll have you up the miniature up. What up to the minute, miniature of five. I can never say that one right, but just be on here tomorrow. <laughs>